ambient designer delivers an experimental approach to sound design by engineering organic guitar sounds to create unique atmospheres. Looking at the interface, there are six color-coded groups, each representing a specific octave mapped to the contact keyboard. Clicking the tab above the group brings up a menu packed with phrases and sounds which can be loaded. Triggering one of the black keys between C6 and B6 on the keyboard will adjust all samples to playback in that key. When in latch mode, triggering a sample will engage an endless looping of the sample without having to continually hold down the key on the keyboard. Then, if you prefer a different sound, simply re-trigger the key to disable playback. Experiment by triggering sounds, and if you engage a sound that doesn't quite fit, simply re-trigger the key and move on. Clicking on the edit button navigates you to the mixer page. Here you have much deeper control over each sample individually. As you can see, each sample has its own channel along with a yellow light which indicates which sample is being triggered. You can mix, pan, and even reverse each sample individually. As a group, you can add effects, or if you desire to add effects to all groups, simply engage global effects. Returning to the main page, we can continue to mix until we achieve our desired sound. One thing to point out, when a group is being triggered for playback, a small light at the bottom of the channel will illuminate to indicate which group is triggering sound. Additionally, each group can be soloed or muted. This helps with keeping track of which group is triggering which sounds. To print your design in your DAW, simply trigger our full mix key mapped to C7. C7 automatically plays back the complete ambient bed designed when in latch mode. Simply draw C7 in your DAW's piano editor or hold down C7 while recording. Aside from latch mode, one could always draw in each sample in the piano editor. This is very useful for adding color to different parts of a composition. The pads consist of two separate pads engines, each with individual controls and each with the ability to load different pads for easy and effective sound design. You'll notice that each engine can be mixed together to achieve the perfect texture. Each pad can be panned, tuned, muted, and soloed. By default, the envelope is engaged, and clicking the mod button engages the LFO. You'll notice here that we have control over the envelope with a basic ADSR. On the right, we have the LFO where we can choose the waveform, decide if we want to modulate volume or pan, and by default, the LFO is tempo synced and the frequency knob controls the rhythm based on 16th notes. When tempo sync is turned off, the frequency knob freely affects the modulation. Clicking the drop down menu, we see seven folders packed with various pads ranging from lush soundscapes to nail biting tension. Once a pad is loaded, cycle through the sounds in the particular folder using the forward and back arrows. In the second pad engine, load a different pad and use the settings to mix and create a completely unique pad. By simply combining two pads from the menus, there are thousands of unique blends and textures that can be created. Additionally, with the LFO and the added effects, designing the perfect sound has never been easier. Lastly, Apollo's pads category includes a vast amount of preset patches. These preset patches were created by utilizing the features of both pad engines as well as the additional effects. The swells are broken into two main categories, chords and notes and single notes. Each category consists of subfolders organizing the various sounds of each patch. 
Within each subfolder are patches with their own sound made straight from the best guitars, pedals, and amps available. We also made sure to record a dry signal for each sound, bypassing the pedal board. This provides the user with the organic sound of just the guitar and amp and also allows for the use of other third-party plugins. Taking a look at a patch, we see two main groups mapped on the keyboard. On the left are major chords, and on the right, minor chords. Since there are multiple places on the guitar to trigger any chord, we sampled both the full iteration as well as the high iteration of each chord. Also, we mapped each chord to correspond with the relevant key on the keyboard. For example, when triggering A on the left, you know you're triggering an A major chord, or D, you know you're triggering a D major chord. Clicking on the Chords tab switches the mapping to single notes. We chromatically sampled single notes for each sound, allowing for leads and providing users to create their own voicing. With the intent of making the swells category as versatile as possible, each chord was recorded as a strum and each single note as a pluck. The swell speed knob functions as the volume pedal on a pedal board, placing the control of each swell into your hands. On the right, we have the same modulation available in the pads category. Clicking the tab provides the option to choose a specific waveform, you can select whether to modulate based on volume or pan, and you can decide to tempo sync or freeform the modulation. Returning to the single notes category, you'll see the exact same subfolders, each containing patches that only include single notes. The Phrase Builder provides a unique approach to creating unique phrases. Loading in a patch, we see that there are different groups mapped to the contact keyboard. Each of these groups triggers different patterns. Within each group, each key triggers a pattern which is within the same key and chord progression of the sample next to it. Because of this, you can create a unique performance by triggering the samples in a unique pattern. Also, each group is editable independently. With MIDI Select engaged, triggering a group displays the group's title in the edit bay. Triggering a different group automatically switches the focus to a new group. This is beneficial because you can add effects and edit each group independently. This feature provides deeper customization and a more unique overall performance. The instrument patches are very straightforward. We multi-sampled electric guitars, a bass, acoustic guitars, harmonics, and a sitar with up to three velocity layers and five round robins. Taking a look at the interface, you'll see that these patches have very straightforward controls with the ability to add effects and EQ. Let's listen to the different patches.
Thank you very much for watching. Please check out our other videos on YouTube for further information on Apollo.